Good morning, St. Peter's. Uh, welcome to Daily Devotion. This morning the question is, what is faith? Some say that faith is believing something, believing something without evidence. Uh, faith is talked about in terms of an object to be examined. And if you have enough evidence that stacks up, you might believe something. And, and faith is believing something in the absence of evidence. But listen to what Hebrews says in chapter 11, uh, verse 1. Now, faith is the reality or the assurance of what is hoped for, the conviction of what is not seen. Uh, he goes on to say, By faith we understand that the universe was created by the word of God, so that what is seen was made from things that are not visible. Faith is really about trust. And the book of Hebrews, or the writer to Hebrews, is saying faith is about trust in a person. It's trust that regardless of how you figure out how the world works and all of the, the machinations and machinations of the way the world works, it's trust that there's someone behind all of that. And that's God. Um, and there's a past element to faith and a future element uh, to faith. The past element is, it says again in verse 3, we understand the universe was created, chapter 11, verse 3 of Hebrews, the universe was created by the word of God, so that what is seen was made from things that are not visible. The writer of the Hebrews is not talking about uh, how, exactly how the universe is created. There's room for all different understanding um, of the way that the, the universe is put together, down to the molecular level, the quantum physics of the universe and how that all works, which many of us have discovered over the last century or so. But he's saying the things that are visible, there is someone who has created it by his word. In the end, there's someone invisible that has created the world. That's the past. That's trust in a person from what he's done. God's people have much to uh, trust in God from his past uh, actions. All throughout the Old Testament, it talks about um, the Exodus and the Passover, uh, God's faithfulness and the promise of his covenant and the promises to his people. When we put trust in someone or in a person, we consider their past record what they've done, who they are, what their character is. And throughout the Bible, we're told that God is faithful and good uh, and his promises are sure and good. That's the past element. But then faith has a future element to it. That's why in verse 1 of chapter 11, it says, faith is the assurance of what is hoped for, the conviction of what is not yet seen. Because of all the things that God has done, uh, we can be sure, we can have trust in what he's going to do in the future. Or we can have trust in who he is and what he's done. God created us. God continues to send, has, has in the past sent his people, the prophets, to speak to his people uh, to come to us. God came to earth, walked amongst us. He taught us um, what it is to live in the kingdom of God. He lived as one of us. He ended up showing how much he loved us by dying for us. And now he's the resurrected king. There's evidence of this. So faith is not without evidence. There's a whole bunch of evidence of this, which you can find in the Bible. Um, and, and that's what God has done, has done. And so we now, we live by faith. Because of what God has done uh, in the past, we can be sure that God will bring us through this He'll bring us through all things, um, and he's working all things for our good purposes. Because of the past, we know we can deal with the future, uh, because faith is the assurance of what we don't see and the conviction of what we hope for. Over the coming weeks, we're going to be looking at faith as a way of life, um, and we're going to be picking apart Hebrews 11. Um, and so join me tomorrow and as we continue to go through Hebrews 11 and see what it is to live by faith. See you then.